Since last May, we've been hard at work making Gemini for Workspace even more helpful for businesses and consumers across the world. Tens of thousands of customers have been using Help Me Write, Help Me Visualize, Help Me Organize since we launched. And now we're really excited that the new Gemini powered side panel will be generally available next month. One of our customers is a local favorite right here in California, Sports Basement. They rolled out Gemini for Workspace to the organization, and this has helped improve the productivity of their customer support team by more than 30%. Customers love how Gemini grows participation in meetings with automatic language detection and real-time captions now expanding to 68 languages. We are really excited about what Gemini 1.5 Pro unlocks for Workspace and AI Premium customers. Let me start by showing you three new capabilities coming to Gmail Mobile. This is my Gmail account. OK, there's an email up top from my husband. Help me sort out the roof repair thing, please. Now, we've been trying to find a contractor to fix our roof. And with work travel, I have clearly dropped the ball. It looks like there's an email thread on this with lots of emails that I haven't read. And luckily for me, I can simply tap the summarize option up top and skip reading this long back and forth. Now, Gemini pulls up this helpful mobile card as an overlay. And this is where I can read a nice summary of all the salient information that I need to know. So I see here that we have a quote from Jeff at Green Roofing, and he's ready to start. Now, I know we had other bids, and I don't remember the details. Previously, I would have had to do a number of searches in Gmail and then remember and compare information across different emails. Now, I can simply type out my question right here in the mobile card and say something like, compare my roof repair bids by price and availability. This new Q&A feature makes it so easy to get quick answers on anything in my inbox. For example, when are my shoes arriving, or what time do doors open for the Knicks game, without having to first search Gmail, then open the email, and then look for the specific information and attachments, and so on. Anyway, back to my roof. It looks like Gemini has found details that I got from two other contractors in completely different email threads, and I have this really nicely organized summary, and I can do a quick comparison. So it seems like Jeff's quote was right in the middle. He can start immediately. So green roofing it is. I'll open that last email from Jeff and confirm the project. And look at that. I see some suggested replies from Gemini. Now, what is really, really neat about this evolution of smart reply is that it's contextual. Gemini understood the back and forth in that thread and that Jeff was ready to start so offers me a few customized options based on that context. So, you know, here I see I have declined the service, suggest a new time. I'll choose proceed and confirm time. I can even see a preview of the full reply simply by long pressing. This looks reasonable, so I'll hit send. These new capabilities in Gemini and Gmail will start rolling out this month to Labs users. OK, so one of the really neat things about workspace apps like Gmail, Drive, Docs, Calendar is how well they work together. And in our daily lives, we often have information that flows from one app to another, like, say, adding a calendar entry from Gmail or creating reminders from a spreadsheet tracker. But what if Gemini could make these journeys totally seamless, perhaps even automate them for you entirely? So let me show you what I mean with a real life example. My sister is a self-employed photographer, and her inbox is full of appointment bookings, receipts, client feedback on photos, and so much more. Now, if you're a freelancer or a small business, 
you really want to focus on your craft and not on bookkeeping and logistics. So let's go to her inbox and take a look. Lots of unread emails. Let's click on the first one. It's got a PDF that's an attachment from a hotel as a receipt. And I see a suggestion in the side panel. Help me organize and track my receipts. Let's click on this prompt. The side panel now sh will show me more details about what that really means. And as you can see, there's two steps here. Step one, create a drive folder and put this receipt and 37 others it's found into that folder. Makes sense. Step two, extract the relevant information from those receipts in that folder into a new spreadsheet. Now this sounds useful, why not? I also have the option to edit these actions or just hit OK. So let's hit OK. Gemini will now complete the two steps described above, and this is where it gets even better. Gemini offers you the option to automate this so that this particular workflow is run on all future emails, keeping your drive folder and expense sheet up to date with no effort from you. Now we know that creating a complex spreadsheet like this can be daunting for most people. But with this automation, Gemini does the hard work of extracting all the right information from all the files and in that folder and generates this sheet for you. So let's take a look. Okay, it's super well organized and it even has a category for expense type. Now, we have this sheet, things can get even more fun. We can ask Gemini questions, questions like, Show me where the money is spent. Gemini not only analyzes the data from the sheet, but also creates a nice visual to help me see the complete breakdown by category. And you can imagine how this extends to all sorts of use cases in your inbox, like travel expenses, shopping, remodeling projects, you name it. All of that information in Gmail can be put to good use and help you work, plan, and play better. Now this particular, <laughs> I know. This particular ability to organize your attachments and drive and generate a sheet and do data analysis via Q&A will be rolling out to Labs users this September. And it's just one of the many automations that we're working on in Workspace. Workspace in the Gemini era will continue to unlock new ways of getting things done. We're building advanced agentive experiences, including customizing how you use Gemini. Now, as we look to 2025 and beyond, we're exploring entirely new ways of working with AI. Now, with Gemini, you have an AI-powered assistant always at your side. But what if you could expand how you interact with AI? For example, when we work with other people, we mention them in comments and docs, or we send them emails, we have group chats with them, etc. And it's not just how we collaborate with each other, but we each have a specific role to play in the team. And as the team works together, we build a set of collective experiences and context to learn from each other. We have the combined set of skills to draw from when we need help. So how could we introduce AI into this mix and build on this shared expertise? Well, here's one way. We're prototyping a virtual Gemini-powered teammate. This teammate has an identity, a workspace account, along with a specific role and objective. Let me bring Tony up to show you what I mean. Hey, Tony. Hey, Aparna. Hey everyone. Okay, so let me start by showing you how we set up this virtual teammate. As you can see, the teammate has his very own account and we can go ahead and give it a name. We'll do something fun like Chip. Chip's been given a specific job role with a set of descriptions on how to be helpful for the team. You can see that here. And some of the jobs are to monitor and track projects. We've listed a few out to organize information and provide context and a few more things. Now that we've configured our virtual teammate, let's go ahead and see Chip in action. To do that, I'll switch us over here to Google Chat. First, when planning for an event like I.O., we have a ton of chat rooms for various purposes. 
Luckily for me, Chip is in all of them. To quickly catch up, I might ask a question like, anyone know if our I.O. storyboards are approved? Because we've instructed Chip to track this project, Chip searches across all the conversations and knows to respond with an answer. There it is, simple but very helpful. Now, as the team adds Chip to more group chats, more files, more email threads, Chip builds a collective memory of our work together. Let's look at an example. To show you, I'll switch over to a different room. How about uh, Project Sapphire over here? And here we are discussing a product release coming up, and as usual, many pieces are still in flight, so I can go ahead and ask, are we on track for launch? Chip gets to work not only searching through everything it has access to, but also synthesizing what's found and coming back with an up-to-date response. There it is. A clear timeline, a nice summary, and notice even in this first message here, Chip flags a potential issue the team should be aware of. Because we're in a group space, everyone can follow along, anyone can jump in at any time, as you see someone just did, asking Chip to help create a doc to help address the issue. A task like this could take me hours, dozens of hours. Chip can get it all done in just a few minutes, sending the doc over right when it's ready. And so much of this practical helpfulness comes from how we've customized Chip to our team's needs and how seamlessly this AI is integrated directly into where we're already working. Back to you, Aparna. Thank you, Tony. Now, I can imagine a number of virtual types of, vir a t number of different types of virtual teammates configured by businesses to help them do what they need. Now, we have a lot of work to do to figure out how to bring these agent of experiences like virtual teammates into workspace, including enabling third parties to make their very own versions of CHIP. We're excited about where this is headed, so stay tuned. And as Gemini and its capabilities continue to evolve, we're diligently bringing that power directly into workspace to make all our users more productive and creative, both at home and at work. And now, over to Sissy to tell you more about Gemini apps.